going on guys? All right, um, I just came across some very interesting video. Um, this video was done at my uh, tuners at the dyno shop, same dyno I've been working on. So this is a great comparison for apples to apples. Um, using this um, as a benchmark. And when I very first started my very first video for this channel, um, <laughs> I did uh, make a claim that I thought the Boss 302 could squeak out as much power as a Gen 3. So a little bit of a stretch there, but. This is uh, something I want you guys to see. So I'll leave the link in the description. I want you guys to watch the video and let me know your thoughts. So basically, um, this is a Gen 3 on the dyno. Um, I won't say it's a full bolt on it. It has long tubes. It has a catted H pipe, um, not the X pipe and not catless, but a catted H pipe which, uh, I don't know, maybe eight to 10 horsepower might be there, but that's uncorked basically um, with an X. Then ported Manny and E85. So this made on the dyno 451 wheel horsepower. So it's a great example. We are, what, eight horsepower away. We made 443 on 93 so we are so darn close to running alongside a gen 3 in fact we may who knows surpass but at this point if it were let's say a x pipe catless 10 wheel horsepower let's say 461 i think we can get there and get damn close with the 85 on the boss real too, the way we're set up now. Um, I do, even though I said we're gonna wait for the intake change, I think, um, because we're already set up, the tune is in, um, I can drive it to him on the tune and then he will actually, you know, dial it in um, on E85. So we can get that done early spring under current setup and then do the manifold later. Here's the other thing I'm, I'm asking of you guys, I'm getting a lot of feedback back and forth. There isn't much data out there on these high ramps. I'm gonna continue looking. Um, the thing is, is the price point, okay? A great price, it was 20% off, 720, I think 780 shipped. You know, a Cobra Jet Manifold, yes, it's got the name brand, Ford Racing, I like that, but it's over $1,300 and then the, uh, the port it. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't port a plastic unit myself. Uh, but they have it ported, you know, and they get it, I think it's 1800. That's the only way I would go. Being that this outflows it out of the box, a high ramp outflows a COVID jet, that's why I'm going that route. But, you know, um, we can always change our mind. It's not shipped yet, I can always cancel. Uh, I'm gonna look for videos, look for any kind of data on this. But anyways, guys, give me your thoughts on this video. This is all I got for you. But for me, it's great news because we are we are almost apples to apples. Same dyno, and it goes to show you some of the videos we're seeing, you know, are they real? I don't know. I think this dyno that I'm on is the real world. Um, the, you know, the common thoughts out there on these Gen 3s, yeah, they make 500 wheel horsepower with headers E85. I don't think that's the case. So check the video out and um, again, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in guys. And guys, thanks for all your support and thanks for my new subs. Um, you guys have a great day and uh, you know, have a great new year. So happy new year to you all. And uh, we got one more video coming hopefully tomorrow if things work out for you. But um, anyways, we'll see you later. We'll leave it at that guys. Y'all take care. Thank you.